Moving on with history. Let's look at, uh, let's read this through. While the general public has been led to believe that communism is a movement of the workers' Soviets to destroy capitalism, Pawns in the Game proves that both British and American intelligence officers obtained authentic documentary evidence which proved that internationalist capitalists operating through their international banking houses had financed both sides of every war and revolution fought since 1776. And that's pawns in the game. The American and British war machines are commanded by men who have all sworn allegiance to the murderous demon gods of the Illuminati. They are sacrificing the lives of your sons and daughters on the altar of the all-seeing eye. And this is Chris Everett. And I believe that to be true. That they love war, they plan war, and they let your children fight in their wars. And people die uh, for their causes, and they just love to cause chaos. This is the um, memorial for the Battle of Britain in Brussels. I wonder who they fought for. Here's the Illuminati Pyramid. Interesting what they've done to us and believe that we're fighting for freedom when they own both sides of the opposition. Here's the Declaration uh, of Independence uh, or the Declaration, uh, the French Declaration, uh, and you can see the Eye of Lucifer up top. All of this occult symbology. Here's the Mithra, hat of Mithra. This is the Roman fasces. And so we see that symbolism. Look at the documents of the French Revolution. Uh, lightning bolts. You can see the all-seeing eye or the eye of Lucifer, hat of Mithra. You see this Ouroboros, the snake biting the tail. Here again, you see all of this going on and the occult symbolism. Uh, two pillars on both sides. And there is that eye of Lucifer once more. We have snakes here. Now depictions in artwork. You see the Roman fasces. You see the obelisk. The Mithra, uh, hat of Mithra as well. The eye of Lucifer. Now look at the artwork again. Now this torch of enlightenment on the, the head. You can see the square, death, ega, uh, equality, liberty, and fraternity, French Revolution, the Ouroboros around, snake biting the tail. We'll get into that a little bit later. We have now the young Napoleon Bonaparte part with all this lightning bolt. They are family members. Their bloodlines end up ruling. They always keep it in the family. Understand this. You don't make it if you're a common man. Department of the Army, and you can see the hat of Mithra for the United States being used. All of this occult symbology, just look at symbols and wonder what they stand for. And you either get the exoteric meaning, um, but if you really find out, uh, you understand the esoteric meaning, the inside meaning. Uh, the Green Dragon ta Tavern, a planning site for the Boston Tea Party. So understand that our revolution in the United States with Great Britain was a planned event by Freemasons. Paul Revere went and did his famous ride through that the uh, the British are coming. Here's the Boston Tea Party, which uh, set up that event and dressing up like Indians and um, uh, claiming that the taxes are uh, against uh, the the Britons are, are taxing us to death. And look what the results is: the start of revolution and the Brits. But look at what the flag of the United States actually is. British East India Company trading flag. Here are stars and stripes and the Knights Templar cross. You can understand the Knights Templar. Nina Pinta Santa Maria. These are voyages funded by the Knights Templar. City of London and the Knights Templar cross. You also have dragons all over this thing. And then now the uh, you can see the British East India Company trading flag. Here's the British flag and the American flag with the stars and stripes. Americans would be fighting under the private flag of an international mercantile corporation controlled by the Jesuits. So this organization was controlled by the Jesuits, as is the British East India Company. They also have the Dutch East India Company. Understand here, after 20 years of constant and most difficult research, I've I come fearlessly today before the American people to say and prove that the President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated by the priests and the Jesuits of Rome. So look, 
You understand how the Mafia works. They set people up. When they don't cooperate, they take them down. Please understand this. This is what's going on. Washington in the lap of Rome. You can read about uh, how the colonial, colonial system of Rome is still in existence today. Now let me read this. At an evening session, Franklin turned the meeting over to his newfound and abundantly honored friend. The subject was a flag. Addressing the committee as comrade Americans, the professor explained that, since the colonies were still dependent upon Great Britain, we are not expected to design or recommend a flag which will represent a new government or an independent nation, but instead one that will testify our present loyalty as English subjects, a flag that was already in use a flag that had been recognized by the British government for half a century, a flag having a field of alternate horizontal red and white stripes with the Grand Union flag of Great Britain in the upper left corner. I refer, he said, to the flag of the East India Company. On Ju January 2, 1776, at a formal ceremony attended by the flag committee, George Washington personally hoisted the East India Company flag upon a towering and, and specially raised pine tree liberty pole, unfurling it to the breeze and displaying it for the first time to his army, the citizens of the vicinity, and the British forces in Boston. So if you're going to think, and you've been led to believe, that our independence was against Britain and that that was uh, uh, against tyranny, they have been shaking hands again on both sides. This whole plan was to create a new nation, uh, an independent nation, but still under the original rule. And so you see that depiction here. Here's Washington, uh, our founding fathers, uh, uncommon heroes, understanding that this is all planned events. And they, they were planned. Even uh, Franklin himself uh, had a... a place in uh, Britain after the revolution and uh, uh, lived there and worked closely with that government over there. This is the Hawaiian flag and you can see that the significance of that uh, being part of the East India Company. East India Company happens to also uh, been the company, the main company involved in the slave trade. Our founding fathers had slaves and look at the treatment of these slaves. Uh, there is a story called Amazing Grace, a movie you can watch of somebody who repented of doing all of this, and he uh, became a true Christian and uh, did uh, repentance his, his entire life uh, because he realized what was happening uh, in this era and what he was doing and what he was involved in. This is a, a, a slave boat. These are all people packed and crammed in. It's unbelievable how people can even draw this kind of thing up and it just hurts me and during a live presentation gosh with with people in shock and I see faces I, I literally come to tears with seeing stuff like this so we have here now the Constitution of the Freemasons and you will realize the similarity between our Constitution checks and balances and all of that based in the Constitution of Freemasons Understanding this is the Freemasonic, pure Freemasonic state, and you can see that in the architecture and everything all about it. Oh boy, it looks like freedom, freedom of religion, freedom of everything, and you are literally living in a prison of your mind. Yes, you can go out and have a coffee or what have you, but as far as understanding where you're at and the progression of this society and what it's become, look at it. Uh, proofs of conspiracy. Um, uh, of against all religion and governments of Europe. This is, I know this is a very uh, poor image, John Adams Library, but there was a understanding that was a conspiracy by uh, Freemasons and the Illuminati. This has been a uh, conspiracy and is not a new thing. It's become a bad word, but is not a new thing to understand that there is a conspiracy going on. You see the Roman fascists in the uh, uh, House of Representatives and the Senate building in the Capitol building. And you can see the Roman fascists being used. This is all Rome. And according to Daniel, uh, we understand that the Roman Empire and this dream that, that uh, 
uh, Nebuchadnezzar had, and the interpretation of that dream is the two legs of Rome. I understand uh, some people that are not believers that uh, prophecy is uh, just hocus pocus, but this dream and this interpretation and the prophecy of this world coming true and the Roman Empire being still with us, the two legs of Rome coming into the feet uh, and having the ten toes. This is a description of the even the Club of Rome and the setup of these toes. Uh, in this final global empire uh, now with us today. And please understand that prophecy is a riddle that we have to understand. And as we get closer uh, to the end here, we see prophecy now coming to full light um, in the, the age. Prophecy, in my statement on prophecy, uh, the further you're out on prophecy uh, in the past, uh, what you might see happening in the future doesn't seem like it would happen at all until you get closer to that event. So that's my understanding and, and one explanation of how prophecy works. So we can see in the last days things happening uh, that are close to what the prophecy reads. So uh, in this case, uh, this is the Yalta Conference, and this is the victors in World War II. All three men here are Freemasons. Communism, uh, capitalism, here's Churchill, looking at Churchill himself. Churchill was installed as a Druid priest in August 1908. So you can see him with the Druids. These are people in the occult. They know the occult thoroughly, and they are uh, part of it thoroughly. All secret society members, all elite bloodlines. Understand this, please. Look at this. Honolulu Advertiser, uh, November 30th, one week before Pearl Harbor, Caruso bluntly warred nation ready for battle. Was this nation ready for battle? Was Pearl Harbor ready. They took the day off on Sunday. All of those planes were lined up. All of the, that uh, armory was all um, locked away. Those ships were all lined up at Battleship Row, right for the picking. These events are meant to be. They plan these events uh, to get the uh, people all ripe and ready for war. This is the Hilo Tribune. Japan may strike over the weekend. Do you think that we would be sitting around, not doing anything, taking the day off, or would we be completely on alert? And they should have been completely on alert. And there's a story about that of um, ships coming over from the mainland of the United States to Honolulu. They stopped in the middle of the ocean and waited for the attack to happen so that some of the carriers would be uh, uh, still be alive. But anyway, um, just to show you that history is, uh, these are planned events. This is Japan Parliament. Uh, building and you can see the Masonic architecture with uh, pyramids you also have the uh, uh, checkered floors this is one of the dignitaries houses I think it might be the Prime Minister's house uh, my wife did this research and you can see the owls perched up above and that owl symbology Tokyo Tower is 333 meters high almost 30, 32 and a half, 333 uh, when you round it off but uh, interesting numerology going on uh, Japanese uh, uh, Democratic Party and the I symbolism on the internet in Japan they say well, what's going on here again the variant of the I symbology uh, the Mount Fuji in the background and the I having if you look through uh, a light on this uh, uh, currency the I is at the top of Mount Fuji so this uh, I and the pyramid symbolism here's Mao you saw earlier with Dubois here's the first Masonic um, a building in China. Uh, all of this, these events, that uh, French Revolution, the, even the Chinese Re Revolution, all of these events are perpetrated into this new age, and Mao is the leader as far as how many people were killed under his uh, atheistic, communistic realm. And so, please, don't tell me that war is a result of religion. Here is a prime example of the most that anyone's ever killed uh, under pure atheistic communism.